Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, lions. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Leo. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much for your love and your support. I appreciate you all. And welcome to my beautiful soul family. Thank you so much, Soul Tribe, and my returning subscribers. It's always a pleasure to have you all here. Today, we're going to focus right into some tarot today, Leos. We've already went through our oracles this week. We tapped into deep more into love and romance this week. So we're just going to dive straight into some tarot today, Leo, and see who is in your energy and why. All right. Definitely, if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. Be sure to adjust your notification bell to the channel so that way you are aware for new content and live streams that I do on this channel for all 12 signs and also love live stream questions, all right? So welcome, subscribe, like, and share the messages here, Lions, all right? So no further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Let's see who is in your energy and why. What do we have for Leo placements for today? Let's see who is in your energy here, Leos, and why. Let's see who is this person. Let's see who is on your mind. What do we have for Leo placements here? What's going on? Okay, all right. All right, we got the Seven of Swords here. This could be an air sign, Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra. Someone has been in an energy where they wasn't honest with you, okay? They cause a lot of conflicts in this connection with you. There is your energy, the strength card. So this was something that you had to overcome, all right, which is you did. Congratulations. You were able to overcome the obstacles and the challenges in this connection with this person, whoever kind of put you through a challenging time here. Again, this could be an air sign, Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra, or they could be a Leo like yourself. We have the Queen of Swords here, okay? Yeah, I kind of feel like you had to stand your ground here. You had to be very direct with this person here at this point, and you're making sure to set some boundaries here, I feel like, with this person here, Leos, okay? We got the Three of Pentacles here. Some of y'all, this person could be an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. Some of y'all, this person could have lied to you and put you in a third-party situation over here with the Three of Pentacles. But let's clarify. Wow. So this is what we got coming out so far for you today. And at the bottom of the deck here, we got the Devil. Wow. Capricorn energy here. Some of y'all, this person could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo here with the Three of Pentacles as well. So let's see what's going on here. Some of y'all, this could be going on within your working environment. You may have caught this person uh, not being honest with you about their working environment or what was being involved there. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Why do we have in the Seven of Swords here? What is the deception here in this situation? Some of y'all, you could have caught, caught this person lying or cheating or done something here behind your back, okay? Clarify the Seven of Swords. Wow, then the devil comes back out again. So this was some type of behavior pattern. The devil represents, you know, different patterns and cycles of very low vibrational energy, like addiction, drugs. Um, the list goes on. We know what that energy means just alone by itself when it comes out, Leo. But just to say this, this was a pattern that this person always did. They always lied. They always came up with some type of scheme. Um, they was always doing some type of deception activity in this relationship with you. And you kind of, you know, enough is enough at this point here with this strength card coming out here. Clarify the strength card here. Why do we have the strength card here for Leo's? Some of y'all are like over it now. The King of Cups. You have feelings for this person. This could have been your spouse is what's fucked up here. Some of y'all, this could have been a Scorpio here with the King of Cups. Or this, we clearly, this is obviously an ex-spouse at this point. Clarify the Queen of Swords. This could definitely have been someone that you were in a commitment with or a long-term relationship with. 
clarify the Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Yeah, the Magician, you're moving on. You're manifesting new things for yourself. Clarify the Three of, you know, the three of Pentacles. Yeah, you're not dealing with this shit. You're moving on. You've already got your willpower back, okay? You're already manifesting new things and new opportunities for yourself. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Now we got the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, which is showing that you're holding back. Someone wants to come to It's like whoever this person here is or was over here, they're wanting to come back with to you with the Seven of Pentacles. It's like you could tell that this person is wanting to bring all of what they have to you, but you're holding back. You're like, no. I don't want any of those pinnacles. I don't want anything anymore that you're trying to offer me. It means nothing to me. Damn. Yep, judgment. Let's let's address the elephant in the room. And this is the issue. This is instead of this person trying to come towards you, they love being in that number seven. Because they love being in that number seven deception energy over here with the devil. And then instead of them coming in to make amends with you or apologize to you, what they're doing is just telling you, hey, Leos, this is what I got. I want to put all this into you. I want to I want to give you all my money. I want to invest everything into you and try to move past this situation. Because look at there, they're going another number seven out in judgment. They want to tell you everything that they want to do with you, but they're not apologizing to you. They're not addressing the elephant in the room. They're not talking about all this fuckery here that they did towards you in the past. No, they ain't talking about none of that. The only thing they're talking about is what they can invest in you with this seven of pentacles here. Judgment card talks about let's address this issue. Let's fix this problem here before we can move forward. This is the same type of energy I just got in Sagittarius's reading today. Wow. I literally named Sagittarius thumb line as um, let's address the elephant in the room, literally, because the judgment card came out as well. And it's like this person was head over heels for Sagittarius, but the thing is, they didn't want to address the elephant in the room. And I be down. This is the same energy, the same energy that's doing the same thing, or they're having the same similar behavior patterns, I would say, as the other person did in Sagittarius's reading, the person that was on Sagittarius's mind. So some of y'all, you could be dating a Sagittarius or um, this situation here. You may have Sagittarius placements in your chart, but anywho, this situation is giving me vibes of someone is trying to avoid the truth. Someone is trying to avoid telling you the truth. They're trying to cover it up at this point. That, that, you know, they're trying to like push it under the rug type of energy here. So let's see what this person wants to say. I don't care. I want you. Yeah, you see that? Even even at this point, they're still in their ego. They're like, yeah, I know what I did was wrong, but I still want to be with you. There's no but, you know, we need to fix whatever the but here is, because obviously this got your butt into some shit that obviously you don't want to address here. And this is the re it's like this person, they know you holding back, but yet they still trying to act like that this shit didn't go down. Like you got to make it make sense. Yeah, look at that. This is driving me crazy. I'm sure it is. It's driving this person crazy because you're not letting up. You're not putting in any time or effort no more into this connection or this relationship until the elephant in the room is being addressed. Yeah, you may have ended things with this person until otherwise here. This is not over. And I feel like this person back of their mind, they're like, okay, well, we'll let time go by, but this isn't over between me and you, Leos. I'm going to let you have your distance. I'm going to let you do your thing for right now, but this is not over. Well, it's going to be over until this person addresses the elephant in the room. 
And this is what they're, I feel like, trying to avoid doing here. Wow. Yeah, look at that. We got, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, eventually, this person is going to come in and apologize to you, Leo. Once they get out of their ego, once the more you hold back from this person, the more that they're going to end up confessing here. Okay? Yeah, look at that. We got, I love you. This person does have feelings for you. Okay? That's understandable. But we still got to address the elephant in the room. We got healing. And this is what you're trying to do. You're trying to heal from this situation. You're trying to overcome the obstacles and the challenges and everything that this person put you through. Right? Wow, Leo. So this is what we have here for you, loves. This is the person here that is in your energy and why. Um, definitely this reading here gave you some enlightenment, even confirmation for some of y'all for what you maybe was intuitively picking up about this person, Leos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and definitely come and check us out, Leos, on Patreon if you would love more content here from the channel. And if you would love to book a personal reading with me, Leos, my email details are down below in the description box, all right? I love you and I wish you and this person here the best, my loves. Bye-bye.